Next, we get to make a grilled peanut butter and jelly sandwich. This one's pretty easy. You take one piece of bread, take your peanut butter, spread it all over the piece of bread, Once you've covered the bread with peanut butter, you get to take the jelly and spread it on the other piece of bread. And then we stick the pieces of bread together, forming a sandwich. The next step is to grill peanut butter and jelly sandwich. You can either use a griddle like this or a frying pan. Today we'll use a frying pan and I'll show you the tips and tricks. The next step is to take your pan and your cooking spray and spray the pan so the sandwich gets a nice golden brown color but also doesn't stick to your pan. I'm gonna give it a gentle spray. And then you're going to put it on the burner, making sure the handle is facing inward so that you don't accidentally bump it and then end up falling on you, burning you, or hurting you in any way. Make sure that it's facing in and turn your burner on to medium-high heat. If your dial has numbers, that's about 7 or 8. Once your pan is heated up, place the sandwich gently on the pan and wait about two to three minutes before checking if it's golden brown so that we can flip it. Once your sandwich is ready to be flipped, hold on to the handle, scrape underneath, and flip it on over. Once you've removed your sandwich from the pan, remember to remove the pan from the hot burner and to shut off the stove top. Once it's done, and you take it out of the pan and put it on your plate, should look nice and golden on both sides. You can then take a knife and cut it. And now there's two pieces to share for lunch.